Apple is banning cryptocurrency mining apps to protect its users. IT World reports Apple has set new rules for app developers, which ban the creation of cryptocurrency mining apps on its mobile devices to protect iOS users. Apple is moving to stop the practice of hackers using a portion of the CPU power from thousands of different iPads or iPhones to mine cryptocurrency. Apparently, Apple has made several rule changes stating that any app, including third-party advertisements, may not run unrelated background processes such as cryptocurrency mining. Computer World reports that the cryptocurrency mining services thrash your CPU and drain your battery. Computer World also reports cryptocurrency services are known for spreading malware, reportedly being one of the top offenders of doing so. Apparently, cryptocurrency services use a small piece of JavaScript it installs on websites, advertisements, and then use the code to hijack part of the CPU power of the device to mine cryptocurrency. This practice is known as cryptojacking. IT World reports crypto mining malware has been on the rise in the past year following the rise of cryptocurrency. For now, Apple is the only one to ban cryptocurrency mining apps. However, Google may soon join Apple in this decision. Stay tuned for more cryptocurrency stories. Scottish Hospital starts to treat cryptocurrency addiction. A hospital in Scotland has begun treating people that are addicted to trading cryptocurrencies. Castle Craig Hospital is now using techniques used to treat gambling addictions and applying them to traders obsessed with the price of their Bitcoin, Ethereum, or whatever new digital currency that just hit the market this week. According to one of the hospital's gambling therapists, Chris Byrne, the high-risk, fluctuating cryptocurrency market appeals to the problem gambler. It provides excitement and an escape from reality. Bitcoin, for example, has been heavily traded and huge gains and losses were made. It's a classic bubble situation. So if you have an addictive personality, enjoy seeing where the dice fall, and don't mind losing your kid's college fund, cryptocurrency sounds like a good fit. And don't worry if you get addicted, they have hospitals for that now. Cryptocurrency using gold to attract Muslim investors Cryptocurrency traders are now turning to gold in order to draw investors from Muslim nations. Many Gulf states don't consider cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin or Ethereum as compliant with Sharia law, which emphasizes economic activity based on physical assets. To address this, Dubai startup One Gram has begun issuing a gold-backed cryptocurrency. Each unit has a corresponding gram of gold stored in a vault. The company obtained approval from an Islamic advisory firm and has so far issued tens of millions of dollars worth of the currency. Only 60% of the planned amount of coins remains to be sold. A similar gold-backed crypto from Hello Gold was released in Malaysia last October, after receiving permission from Islamic scholars in Kuala Lumpur. Guess it's a win-win for crypto traders and devout Muslims alike. Loco for crypto, this is your week. Blockchain Week in the Big Apple is in full swing as financial bigwigs, tech whizzes, and experts come together to talk shop. No doubt the biggest among the dozens of events is Consensus in Midtown, a three-day bonanza hosted by Coindesk. The event features an impressive roster of speakers, which include top Twitter head Jack Dorsey, St. Louis Federal Reserve Bank President James Bullard, and FedEx CEO Frederick Smith. Rapper Snoop Dogg will also be making an appearance, headlining the Ripple After Party at a secret location in the Meatpacking District. Snoop may be the celeb at Blockchain Week, but he's not the only famous entertainer who's into them coins. A number of celebs have started endorsing crypto startups. There is Paris Hilton for a Lydian coin, Jamie Foxx for a Coffin Hood, and even Steven Seagal for a Bitcoin 2 Gen before authorities crack down on it. Over 4,000 people are expected to show up for consensus, a big step up from last year's 2,700 attendees. But with each ticket currently priced between $1,499 and $2,999, it's going to take a heck of a lot of commitment and maybe even temporary homelessness to get in. Venezuela to enter crypto market with the Petro Thinking about cryptocurrencies, the Venezuelan president wants you to forget about Bitcoin and buy the Petro. Yeah, right. Venezuela announced that it will enter the cryptocurrency market with its launch of the Petro digital coin. 
According to President Nicolas Maduro, the petrol will be backed by oil, gas, gold and diamond reserves. Maduro said the government will issue 100 million tokens, each valued at the price of one barrel of Venezuelan crude. That would value the petrol issuance at just over 6 billion U.S. dollars. The government said the cryptocurrency will help the cash-strapped nation make financial transactions and overcome U.S. sanctions against the country. Venezuela's actual currency, the Bolivar, is in freefall, with the nation in need of basic necessities like food and medicine. Cryptocurrencies are so hot right now. Bitcoin continues to barrel ahead at a blistering pace as analysts continue to predict that we could be looking at the greatest speculative bubble of all time. Virtual currencies continue to gain in value as Bitcoin hit another all-time high on Tuesday, as investors now hope to break the $20,000 mark. The interest in Bitcoin also helped Litecoin and Ethereum break new marks. Litecoin gained more than 40% to $312, while Ethereum hit $600 a token. Due to the huge surge in traffic, cryptocurrency trading platform Coinbase had to temporarily halt trading on Litecoin and Ethereum. Coinbase's status page showed both cryptocurrencies were experiencing major outages. But as digital currencies continue to set new records, many analysts are concerned that the speculative bubble will eventually burst. Clearly, putting all your eggs in one basket and dumping everything into digital cash right now is the way to go. What's the worst that could happen? Hackers using YouTube ads to cryptojack. Are you a crypto miner? You might be without even knowing it. Hackers are using YouTube as a way to turn passive viewers into cryptocurrency miners. The issue was brought to light over social media with complaints that YouTube ads were raising red flags in antivirus software. A service called CoinHive was apparently taking over a viewer's CPU and using it to mine digital coins. Attackers used Google's DoubleClick ad software for traffic distribution. Japan, France, Taiwan, Italy and Spain were affected by the malvertising campaign. Google confirmed that cryptojacking threat and eventually blocked the ads and removed the malicious actors from their platform.